All right, so this is the extreme hill that we tend to go and test power wheels on because it tends to kill most of them. So let me crack open my Jamaican ginger ale here and let's talk about an idea. You know how you have those ideas, that idea that you shouldn't tell your wife about because you know you're gonna get called crazy. Or that idea that you shouldn't tell your wife about because you know she's just gonna tell you you don't need another project. Well, this is one of those ideas. So I end up with this a lot. I end up with these MTDs that people rip the engines up. I know because I do it quite often. The FNR transaxles in them, like this one, are very common. They're all over the place. And the reason being is because the belt drive system that's in these is just horrible to work on. So, back a few years ago, I made a H2 Hummer power wheel into a beast of a power wheel. I put a mobility scooter rear end into it, and at 12 volts, it was nice. At 24 volts, it was a monster. But that got too small, and my kids outgrew it. So this year, we changed out that mobility scooter rear end into a Gator power wheel, which is a little bit bigger. The kids fit on it better. And yet again, it's a monster. It's got a lot of torque. I love it. Could not say anything bad about it. But that got me thinking. Those mobility scooter rear ends really aren't any different than one of these FNRs. They're basically the same concept. The only difference is, is that the electric motor is going this way into what essentially is the brake shaft instead of going this way into the input. And then I got thinking even further. And that's where the mad science started. Let me grab the camera and let me show you what's on this table. Because we're going to try and take this little MTD, rip it apart, and rebuild it as an electric lawn tractor. This works. We're going to mount a solar panel on top. And as long as you park it facing towards the south, We'll even put a compass on it if we need to. It'll sit there and charge up, and anybody in the family will be able to just jump on, hit a toggle switch, and go. That's the goal. All right, let me show you what's Hi. on the table. So here we are. This is our FNR. This is our core to the idea. And basically, if I spin this, it's a direct connection straight to the axles, and it has a brake built in for mechanical braking. Now the nice thing about an FNR is your mechanical braking is always active, even if the transmission is in neutral. So at no time do you lose the ability to stop the unit. Now, the thing about an FNR is that it uses a special spline that goes in with a pulley. And you can take that pulley and you can pull it off and you can punch that spline piece out and be able to weld it onto other stuff. In the past, I've made couplers and I've made drive shafts, and I actually built a gas-powered power wheel that uses one of these in the rear. And you can check that out if you like in the description, but our goal is electric. So, the mobility scooter that I run in the Gator runs off one of these. It's 24 volts, and that uses this. It's a HAL electric gas pedal. And it works really good. It's got a potentiometer in it, so you can hit the gas and vary it. And from there, that uses this battery pack. It's a big, giant battery pack that'll run the uh, Gator with the mobility scooter rear end for a good, solid two or three hours. So we've got this part figured out. Now, what do we do about this? That's where this super winch comes in. Now, 
these LT2000 super winches, you can pick them up on sale on a regular basis. And basically, I have blown out two or three of these over the years. And if you break them down, you can break it down to this point without too much of an issue. And this metal piece on the bottom comes off and we should be able to use these two screw holes as a mounting point somewhere on this transmission. These, a regular 10 millimeter bolt, bolts right in. So there's no reason we shouldn't be able to slice this off and be able to either rotate it or put it in place in order to make a mount. Now, remember how we were talking about that spline shaft. Now that spline shaft is right here. What I ended up doing is I pulled this cover off, I removed the upper part of the planetary gear assembly, and I welded this right directly to the inside planetary gear set. And I can show you a picture of that right now. Now that ended up with the next bit of insanity. From there, that just goes on just like that. Now the real question is, if you were crazy enough to plug in something like, say, this Audu, now this Audu booster is really nice because it has a manual override button here. And what that allows me to do is to sit here and clamp that onto one end and then clamp this onto the other end, hold on to it as if it's trying to hurt me, because it is, and hold down that manual button and we should see these axles turn. Now, as you can see, that was with this. This is 12 volts. So if we up the game to 24, we should definitely be able to get this thing hopping along pretty good. That's what we're gonna try to do. Okay. So we managed to get the whole top piece off of the back here. So this is where the seat would be. This is where your battery usually would be. And this is the pulley that we were talking about earlier. Now, we're going to take out everything that is unnecessary. We're going to take out this lever here. We're going to take out this assembly here that we don't need in the way anymore. We're going to take out this pulley and we're going to take out this pulley. We're going to drop out this bar here that we don't need and we're going to remove anything that has to do with the wiring harness because we're going to rewire the entire thing. Now the one thing that we're going to leave in this whole assembly is this bar right here. This bar here is your manual brake lever that comes back in order to go and give you brakes. So if I press down on the brakes, we should see it work. So as you can see, we have a bar here and we have this right here. So we're gonna remove this, we're gonna take it off of the pedal assembly where it is, and we're gonna leave this one intact so that we have manual brakes just in case we need them. The one thing we are going to leave intact is we're going to leave this plate here, which goes over to the frame, which bolts the front of the transmission. We're also going to leave this bar here intact this is our forward neutral reverse shift that we need for being able to control everything. So I wanted to take note of this. I ended up putting this spring here in, which goes to the brake lever, which is right down in here. Because this stock spring, once I removed all the assembly here, only goes that direction and the brake lever was not returning back to its neutral location. So I had to put in this universal throttle spring.
Alright, so our first test is going to be in neutral. So we should just spin and make a bunch of noise. And for our second test, we're going to put it in gear. I'm not sure which is going to be reverse and forward, so we'll just go with that one. And let's see what it does. for the heck of it. So there we go. That's our 12 volt test. Now we got to get the rest of the wiring done. All right, so at this point, we've got the HAL throttle hooked up. We've got a toggle switch in place to be able to turn everything on and off. So right now, it should be off. And then we've got the toggle in order to turn it on. Everything's wired up. And this is literally basically the same exact setup that is wired into all of the power wheels around here. You've got your HAL controller wired into this. This is wired to these off of the super winch manual control itself. You've got your wiring going to your batteries here. You got a 30 amp fuse here. And essentially that's basically it. Now we're using the manual brake, so we don't have to worry about the brake and we can save electricity there. So at this point, if we push this down, now that we've got the toggle switch on, we should hear the motor kick over. And full throttle it. That's a little intense. All right, so let's put it into gear. Now, we may have to swap the polarity here because I don't know which direction is which. So let's try forward. That's forward, hopefully, and let's try it. forward and reverse test we're gonna just hold on to the gas pedal in our hand as soon as I get it out from under the hood <laughs> so we're gonna hold on to it in our hand and just push down with our thumb so that should be reverse oh. Whoa. and that should be neutral and forward. Oh, well, we ran something over. So there's neutral. And the brake works. Reverse. And brake. Neutral forward. Alright, so you got to kind of tap it just a little bit to get it to go into gear. And I actually ran into this and was expecting it. When I built the gas powered power wheel, it was the same problem. Alright, well, let's turn on some floodlights and see what it does. Uh, do you mean Alright, so John wants to go and give it a test drive here. So what we've got is we've got our gas pedal all nice and zip tied into place because race car. 
We've got our controller here. We've got our connection block here. This is our toggle switch for on and off. So we're gonna set that to on and close the lid. And that's all we have is just that set of small batteries in there right now, just to give it a test. And so we've got the motor back here. John, lift up. So we've got the motor back there, all set and ready to go. Wait, that's a win? All right. So right now it should be in neutral. So John, go ahead and get on it and give it a little bit of gas. It should just sit there. Okay, stop. Now if we set it forward in the gears, go ahead. Okay, John, stop. Put it in reverse and back up towards my truck. Cool. John, why don't you see if you can make it over the dirt pile? Yep, go over the dirt pile. Whoa. <laughs> Careful, bud. What is the, oh, what? Oh, did you break it? The gas pedal just fell. Uh-oh, we disengaged the gas pedal. <laughs> All right, give us a sec. All right, so this is the extreme hill that we tend to go and test power wheels on because it tends to kill most of them. 